So by now, we all probably know that Me6 is probably the worst bot ever on Discord because of many, many reasons. Greed, NFT bullshit, AI bullshit, the loads, right? You know it. And if you don't know it, check out the description. I've got a bunch of uh, videos linked to no text to speech. He makes excellent video essays about the whole Me6 bullshit saga. But that's not what we're here for today. Today, I want to show you how you can get rid of your Me6 leveling system that you've probably been using for years in favor of a better one. And as you can see here, I've had, I have a little test server here. I've been goofing around with it. I can already tell you how bad Me6 is because I invited this bot, Me6 here, to this brand new server. And in doing so, guess what Me6 did? They sent me a little DM, unsolicited, completely without my knowledge of it doing so, and tells me that we can customize our slash rank card here, which on the surface of it seems fine. So we click on the link. We obviously want to do this and it takes us straight to the leaderboard and opens the edit rank card option. Seems perfectly fine. We can change the color here where it immediately shoves Me6 Pro down your face to not only get cool backgrounds, but also gets a 50% XP boost. That's pretty, that's, that's pretty shit. If we go back to the settings of the server, you basically can't do anything without paying for premium. Let's go to the leveling plugin and we can change the level of announcement, we can change the message, but look at that, we can't change the role rewards, we can't even add role rewards. What kind of a leveling system doesn't let you add role rewards? You can't even change the XP rate because that's premium as well. You know, you can't change not giving premium uh, Me6 Pro subscribers not extra XP because how unfair is that? Um, they obviously, you know, start advertising their own little money-making scheme here. You can change the no XP roles, you can change the no XP channels. You can't even give XP to your members and you can't even remove them. That is basic functionality. Let me show you how you can get rid of all of this, all whilst retaining your precious Me6 leaderboard. If we go back to it, here we go. I have 24 messages, I have 488 experience, and I'm level three. I do not want to lose that, come what may. You don't need to lose it. All you need to do is invite Lurker, the almost 99% free bot that replaces Me6 and adds so many features, you can't keep track of them. So all you have to do is go to lurker.gg and just click on invite the bot. And obviously we want to uh, select Bing Bong's server right here, very cool name. It'll want all these uh, permissions. Let's authorize it. I am indeed human. And we are now authorized and are alerted that our friend has now slid into the server. Now we want to go back to the dashboard. We want to log in, obviously. Again, click on authorize. And now we want to go to the dashboard where we can configure the Bing Bong's server. Here we are. This is what you want to see. We already have this beautiful leaderboard. What do we do instead? Well, we want to import the XP. Now we have two options. If you're coming from Me6, obviously you want to choose the uh, Me6 option. If you're coming from Atlas bot, you can also choose the Atlas option. What's important to note, we're always looking to add more and more bots to this list. So we can select Me6 and now we can check if we want to import roll rewards. Now, because I do not want to give Me6 one cent of my money, I obviously didn't pay premium, but you might have, and that's totally fine. I get it. So we don't have any roll rewards. If you do have roll rewards, we can automatically import them as well. You just have to click true. I'm going to click false. And then we have this option for until. This basically means because let's take our Me6 leaderboard example here. Uh, we are level three. We want this until option to equal level three because that will import every single member on the leaderboard until it reaches level three. Anything below that will be skipped. And that's mainly to save on uh, bandwidth. So we want to import until three, hit enter. It'll ask you, are you sure you want to wipe all current levels and import them from E6? Instead, if you already have been using Lurker, it will completely wipe the leaderboard. That's no way around it. We can't just have two leaderboards at the same time. So we click yes. And here we have the first issue. We want to change the uh, leaderboard to public. So we want to click on this button, click on save if you haven't done that already. And let's go back and do it again. And here we go. We've successfully imported one levels up to level three from Me6. 
If you have a lot of members, uh, like in the order of thousands, this process might take a while. As you saw, the messages will be updated or the, the message will be updated uh, depending on the progress of the bot. Then you are done. And all you have to do to double check is type slash leaderboard. And there we are. It's thinking it's disabled. We can change that by typing a config toggle option. And then we have the different options. We obviously want to enable the leveling system. Hit enter. It will enable the leveling system. And now we can check on our brand new imported leaderboard. And there we are. We're level three. If you want to retain the same amount of XP gain or the same amount of leveling gain, I should say, we can change that as well in Lurker completely for free. That's all the basics done. You have a leveling system. If you don't want to configure anything else, you can stop right here, but I'm going to continue. You have a lot of options when it comes to Lurker. So let's go back to the dashboard and let's go through all of these leveling options. Um, we have this button up here. We can uh, go to the leaderboard. It'll open, I'll open a new page. This is the web dashboard for the leaderboard, but let's continue where we left off at the top here. Level up message destination. That's the same thing um, as with Me6. It's the same thing as the level up announcements and the level up announcement message. We can set it to the same channel as the person uh, was just talking in. We can set it to a DM. It might not work because sometimes people have uh, their direct messages disabled. Um, we can set a custom channel, uh, which opens a, a different box here where we can select uh, a channel to send the level up message to always. Let's uh, let's select the general channel. And here we have the level up message. This is the variable for the user that just level up. And this is the variable for the level that they just achieved. It's the same thing as with the uh, me six variables right here that you can see uh, are in a little black box here. What we can do is click on this uh, question mark and here, these are the different uh, tags that you can set in the level up message. There are quite a few of them. Those are all the tags that you can use, including the curly brackets, and you can uh, customize your level up message here. So the next option is stacking a level roll rewards. That is obviously a premium feature, not so on Lurker. So uh, we can uh, change or toggle the stack leveling roll rewards. By default, it's enabled, but if you want roll rewards to be separate, separately uh, given to people, um, you can uh, turn this off. The leveling role hierarchy slash multiplier value priority is a mouthful and we'll get to that once we tackle multipliers a little further down. Leveling in threads, that's pretty uh, self-explanatory. By default, it's off. If you want to enable people to gain levels within threads of uh, enable channels, you can uh, turn that on. And here we come to the beat, leveling roll rewards. This is obviously free. No idea why Me6 makes this a premium feature, but here we are. So um, you can enter the level that you want to uh, reward a roll to at level two and click that and we click on this and we don't have any rolls. One sec. Uh, we want to add the baby roll to level one because there's still a baby at level one. Uh, we want to enter a level for um, level three Add that. Um, let's add the Mr. T roll to that. Um, and let's add our roll for level 10. Click on that again. And let's add the beans roll to that. We can uh, add as many uh, rolls as we want and as many roll rewards as we want. There are limits to all these um, that you can uh, expand on uh, with the premium option. We obviously still have upkeep costs, so we, so we want to offer a premium, but not nearly as restrictive as Me6. Um, which you can read about in our Patreon's perk uh, documentation page. As we can see here, leveling roll reward, 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 I have a stroke. Leveling reward rolls per level is limited to three rolls per level, which we think is pretty generous. It hasn't changed. It won't ever change. And then the l total leveling reward rolls, you can add a total of 30 rolls in the entire leveling system. Again, which we think is pretty generous and more than you would ever need. Um, if you do need more, uh, we always say offer premium and the server perk is only for $5. So let's go back to configuring our uh, server. And now we uh, go into leveling multipliers. Now, this is uh, quite similar to the XP rate of Me6, but it's on Russian steroids uh, and allows you to create a multiplier, which is the same thing as the XP rate uh, for a channel for uh, the whole server, which is called global or for a role. If you want to keep the leveling rate at the Me6 or the previous Me6 
uh, rate, because the lurker leveling is a little faster, you can create a global multiplier. It will affect everyone, and it's basically the same thing as the XP rate. So we can click on that, and now we have a little uh, selector here. So if we want to have the same leveling as Mesix, we would add a global multiplier of 0.32. And we can do that here, 0.32. So let's say, let's say we want to re reward people even more for uh, getting the beans roll. So we can add our roll, we click on that again, um, and we can, well, let's say we'll double the XP rate, and we'll add the beans roll to that. Um, and let's say we want people, uh, we want to encourage people to, uh, to chat more in a specific channel, and let's give them a 20% boost. Uh, and let's let's say we want them to chat more in the test channel. Perfect. Now we want to uh, add some leveling channels. Right now it's in a blacklist, which means that any channels that we add here will not be allowed to gain levels, regardless of who chats in them. Um, let's click on use whitelist. So this changes them to whitelist. And now any channels that we set in here, only those channels will be allowed uh, for leveling. So in this case, we want to add the general channel and the test channel. Um, the ignored leveling bot prefixes. Now, a lurker uses slash commands like any decent bot nowadays should, but there might be some older bots that you use or some uh, personal bots that you use that still use message bot prefixes. And obviously you don't want people to gain levels by just using bots, that would be cheating. For example, obviously the most common prefix is exclamation mark. We can click on the button here. Another common one, Dino uses uh, or used to use uh, question mark. Um, and let's just add another one for shits and giggles. Let's add the percent uh, prefix and add that to the list there. Now let's move on to the daily top leveling role. This is pretty cool. This allows you to reward the uh, person highest on the leaderboard. So the number one person gets a special role. Um, let's say, they get the beans roll as well, because why not? And you can read all about that on the documentation. Um, now the no leveling rolls, pretty self-explanatory. You can add rolls that uh, shouldn't be allowed to uh, level up. Let's just ban me six from getting any levels. How about that? Now let's move on to automatic level resets. This allows you to reset the leveling progress of any one user when these conditions are met. So by default, this is obviously none. But if you want to punish people for leaving your server, or you can uh, wipe them if they were banned for whatever reason, or you can set them to both. I'm just going to leave it to none. And here we are, the vanity leaderboard URL. So we go back to the server leaderboard. As you can see in the URL up here, as, as, a, bit, as a bit long to share with someone or to just write out in a channel. So let's add a vanity URL. So that's a word or a phrase, an acronym, whatever you want. In this case, very obviously, we want to set the vanity URL to Bing Bong. Very cool. Um, and we'll take a look at that in a bit. Uh, specific announcement levels. So this is quite useful if you only want the uh, level of announcement to happen at level 1, level 3, and level 10. Just like that. We can do that. The minimum level announcement threshold. This is the minimum amount of levels a person needs to get before their subsequent level of messages are being sent. So let's add level three. So only uh, the level of messages from level three onwards are going to get announced. Then we have the factor for leveling announcements. It's a little bit more uh, difficult, but uh, the factor basically means the multiplier uh, of uh, leveling numbers that should be announced. It's a bit, it gets a little mathy, which obviously I don't like, but um, for example, we only want to announce the levels 5, level 10, level 15, level 20, all in uh, multipliers by 5 increments. Uh, if we want to do that, we can just enter 5 here and only those will be announced. Perfect! I forgot to mention about leveling role hierarchy slash multiplier value priority, which is a bit of a mouthful and it's quite difficult to explain. Luckily, we have documentation. Uh, theoretical scenario, um, we have the meme lord role and it has a multiplier of 1.3x is higher in the role priority list than the multiplier of 2.5, which is lower on the role well, uh, priority list. And the default behavior of leveling role hierarchy slash multiplier value priority, which is off, um, is that the highest multiplier will be applied if the user has both roles. It's a very important distinction. In the same 
uh, c scenario, if we toggle this, um, then the higher roll will take priority, regardless if the multiplier is lower than another roll that they also have. It's a bit of a different, it's a bit of a niche scenario, but that just shows you the amount of depth and control that Lurker allows you to change for free uh, with your leveling system. And more features are on the way all the time. So if you love Lurker and you love the freedom that it gives you, please feel free to refer us to your friends. All this is for free. If you want to uh, nonetheless support us, please feel free to go to our Patreon and uh, either just support us for a dollar a month um, and you get individual perks, or if you want your server to take advantage of these uh, premium limits, you can join us at $5 a month. Uh, that includes tax. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this helped you get rid of the plate of Mesics and hopefully I'll see you around on the support server. Thank you very much for watching.